channel so today I'm gonna to be making a video about the top tips to grow your hair out some of you guys know I did make a video like this like two or three years ago but now I've like narrowed down the top tips that I think like really make a difference and I'm also going to be starting to take pills that I got from Hairburst they were nice enough to send me some pills to try out and these are just supposed to grow your hair out quicker and they gave me a 30-day supply so I just started taking them today I'm gonna to insert like a video of my hair length right now And then in 30 days, I'm going to show you guys another picture. And I've seen the results after 30 days, and for some people, it's grown a lot. So I'm really excited to try it. And I also have a discount code for you guys. It's for 15% off, and the code is SWEETP15. And yeah, so let's get started with the tips. Okay, so I have this little paper, so I'm going to keep looking down at it. I have seven tips for you guys, and I really feel like this is what helped my hair grow out. My hair is already long right now. It's already like, I'll just put pictures. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. <laughs> I've done a lot to help it get to this point, so yeah. The first tip is to deep condition your hair, and if you don't know what that is, you can just Google it, but basically it's just putting conditioner in your hair for 30 minutes to overnight. It just depends on what you do. Some people do 30 minutes and then they rinse it out, and some people leave it on overnight and then they rinse it out. But my very, very favorite deep conditioner is the Three Minute Miracle by Aussie, and it's literally, it's the best. Like from when my hair was like literally like this short straightened to now like this has always been like one of my key things I love it it's like $3.99 at Target maybe four dollars it's not even that expensive and I usually just do this in the shower and I do only do it for three minutes now because my hair is like kind of healthy I just I've been neglecting my hair so I'm like getting back into it that's why this video is like helping me too to get back into it Deep conditioner really helped bring back my blonde curls and everything. So the next tip is don't shampoo too much. Oh my gosh, I can't stress this enough. Shampoo, I like did a whole like report on this in my communications class, but it has so many bad chemicals in it. It literally has the same chemicals as like the car wash soaps, the soaps that you use to wash, like clothes with. It's so harsh, so you don't want to be shampooing your hair too much. I recommend you use sulfate-free shampoos if you can't get sulfate free just do not shampoo your hair that much like do it twice a week or like maybe three times oh my god okay so pacifica actually sent me a few sulfate free um shampoos and i'm so excited because they just released their hairline and sometimes when i get products from brands like i'll try it out and i'm like okay this was fine but these like i was like oh my gosh like they're amazing oh my god and it's also vegan free or it's vegan i mean and then it's for all hair types too. So both of these, I like, I don't know which one I like better. They're both amazing. This one smells really good because it smells like kale and I've never really like smelled that before in a um, like product. And then I also like Diva Curl's No Poo. I always like Diva Curl. And the No Poo is also really good. So those are just some of my favorites. You can get any sulfate free one you want and it'll work way better than a shampoo that has like tons of chemicals in it. Oh, and then another tip that goes along with that one is to just be gentle with your hair and like don't like comb it too hard and stuff like that. The next tip is to massage your scalp often. When you're in the shower, massage it for like two minutes. Um, it's also really good to massage your scalp when you're upside down, like on your bed. I think that's one of the best tips because it gets like the blood flowing and it's just really, really, I don't know, it just makes your hair grow faster. Like, I'll show you guys my roots and you guys can see how fast it's grown. And it hasn't even been that long. I dyed my hair like two or three weeks ago and it's already growing back so fast and I'm just like, dang, like I just dyed it. I didn't really want my roots to grow out that fast, but it's all good. So another great tip with massaging your hair is to use oil when you massage your hair. If you have like hair that doesn't grow fast and like it's really, really hard to get it to grow, Use oil. I use uh, extra virgin olive oil if I need to. I haven't needed to do this in a long time because my hair has been growing at a good pace, but when my hair used to grow slower, I would always take it and do like hot oil treatment. You can just Google that. It's not like a crazy 
hard thing to do. You just like get oil and like put it on your scalp and massage it. So that's a really good tip. And the next one is to use, oh, two of my favorite products for hair growth is the Afoji Two Step and it's a protein treatment. And then Lee Stafford for hair that doesn't grow past a certain length. And that is like the longest name of a product ever, but it is the best product. It's so hard to find because it's amazing. Like if it's stuck at a length, like it won't grow past a certain length. Like that's literally what the product's called. It will grow past that length. It'll get it out of that like being stuck because my hair used to always stay like right here or like no like right here and after I got that that's what pushed it to like grow longer so I really 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 like that product and I haven't been able to find it in a while except for online so yeah definitely look into getting that and the next step is pretty easy no straighteners don't use a blow dryer just stop using heat on your hair like period I guess if you have to well you don't have to but if you think you have to, just don't do it every day. Do it once a week or something. Just, just stop straightening your hair. I, I recommend that. Just stop. Next tip is to, oh, to keep your hair moisturized. It's mainly for curly hair. For straight hair, it usually gets oily by itself, but curly hair doesn't normally get that oily. So I just recommend using a really good leave-in. One of my favorite leave-ins is the Eva Curls Super Cream and this one is, it's honestly so amazing. Like I wish I had like a thousand of these because then I would never have any hair worries in my life. Like my life would just be like, oh my gosh, it's so easy. Like if I could use like as much as I want of this so like and not ever have to worry about running out. Girl. Oh my gosh, that would be literally amazing so that's one of my favorite leave-ins I don't think I've ever found one that's better um, but yeah keep your hair moisturized throughout the day even if you do have straight hair it's sometimes it is a good idea just to use a little bit of leave-in conditioner just so it doesn't get all dry and crispy at the ends so that is one of the big things um, to keep your hair super moisturized and then the last thing is your diet. So you don't want to be eating crap all the time. It's not really that good for your hair. There's definitely, there's so many things that are beneficial to your hair. Salmon, eggs, avocado, almonds, sweet potatoes, cinnamon, just drinking lots of water, eating like healthy, taking vitamins, and um, where are my vitamins? Okay, I found them. <laughs> and omega-3, or just like fish oil. And these are the ones I take. I take this... Thing. I'm trying to think of where I even got this. It might be at like just Costco or Ralph's or something if you're in California. So just anything is fine. You don't have to get this brand. And then I have just these CVS like fish oil pills. Also Greek yogurt, spinach, guava, and also eating enough iron. And you can find iron in like beef, cereal, pasta, and things like that. And the last thing is oysters. So those are my tips to grow your hair out. I honestly think if you were to follow just these seven tips, your hair will be able to get to whatever length you want and it won't even take that long like give it a year or two years if depending on how short your hair is i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned something new or just feel motivated to grow your hair out because you can do it there's so many people who don't think they can do it you can do it i'm letting you know you can grow your hair out so i think that's about it those are all the products that i recommend for growing your hair out so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in my next video Bye! How to grow your hair out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>